Hey guys, welcome back to the Cartoon History Channel, the Cartoon History YouTube channel. And this is Saturday Afternoon Retro Tune 17. The Nick Tune that should have been on MTV. And Stimpy. I also make the argument that everything Spumco and Johnny K made could have been on MTV instead of a family friendly network like Cartoon Network or Nickelodeon. But I'm starting out with his first cartoon, Ren and Stimpy. It was one of the first three of the Nicktoons. The Vanessa Coffee okayed for a pilot. Still lasted from August 11th, 1991 to October 20th, 1996. And he left after the first two seasons. But to be more correct, he was fired from his inappropriate content and for, for not getting episodes done in time. Despite being one of the first three Nicktoons, Ren and Stimpy and Johnny K's show that he originally made with his Spumco company until he got fired and left and Games Animation took over. It was very, very, very adult content. Very innuendoed and very over the kids' heads type of humor. It was funny as the show was. It was very, very... that The kids weren't going to get the jokes. And only the adults and parents were going to get the jokes. But I don't know how Vanessa Coffey and Nickelodeon even allowed his jokes. But they kept the same kind of campy and adult humor after John left. They just uh, cleaned it up a bit, but it still kept the basic theme. And it was still pretty, you know, NSFW type of humor. The Nicktoons version of the show was very, very, very blue for its time. And, and another example of why it should have been on MTV was because of its blueness. Like the Don't Whiz on the Electric Fence episode. Or in that same episode, his dim-witted cousin, Renz, had a too close, in my opinion, relationship with Stimpy. For the time. And it had... References to adult humor that really shouldn't have been on, Nick. Examples of elements that back then would have normally be, been considered too far was the Happy Happy Joy Joy dance and Ren's anger towards Stimpy, especially in that same episode when he gets the happy helmet off. He literally beats Stimpy up on a regular basis. Stimpy is the nicer one of the two, and Ren is a, a butthole antagonist type, but they live together in the same bed, and they're quote-unquote friends, but they're kind of like frenemies, because Stimpy always does something stupid, and Ren has anger issues to the 10th degree. And not just what the main characters did, but there was also visual gags that were very, very adult, and that obviously went over the kid's head, but that the network should have noticed. And it should have been an MTV cartoon for that very reason. There were dirty jokes that only adults could understand. Like that walrus call the police thing. And uh, there were phobia type jokes like uh, dwarfism people phobia. Like circus midgets as the firefighter says. And uh, the, in the, in the unaired pilot, when they're in the pound, they put one of the dogs to sleep. I mean, I'm not saying it wasn't humorous, and but it's very, very adult. It's somewhat funny, some of the show, but it's very, very adult humor that kids wouldn't get. But it, a lot of the humor on the show is more MTV related. Like some of the gross out humor, a lot of gross out humor. For about four or five episodes in the 2000s, some of the, if it's even dirtier stuff, got re released as Ren and Stimpy, the adult party cartoon. A banned episode where, where they're the pets of George Licker, American, where he beats the crap out of George Licker, and then he turns to Stimpy and says, You're next. He's training them to be guard dogs. 
and, and ran snaps and beat him up. Because of the gross out humor and the violence of the original Ren Stimpy, the target audience ended up being young 20 something college age people and not the kids. The kids were supposed to be the target audience. That's what Nickelodeon intended, but he didn't want to make a quote unquote kid show. He made his show. And that's the very reason he got banned from the network and, and fired. Gunnar talks about Brent that a few years ago that they're bringing it back, but they're doing it without John. Because another reason that he would have been fit for a, a more adult network is he was a very inappropriate man. And I'm not going to get into details of what the word is that he was, but it starts with a P and I'm not going to say it. Other examples, other than Ren and Stimby, that were Spumco shows is later. In the early 2000s and late 90s, while he was making and developing his Ren and Stimpy adult party cartoon for Spike TV and other ones like the Ren and, the Ranger Smith and Yogi Bear parody ones, everything that he made was very, very adult. The Ranger Smith and adult shorts that he made and even the uh, Jane and George and Elroy short that he made with the Spumco. Spumco as a brand as a whole should have been an MTV company. It was its own independent company until he left the show in between 92 and 93. And then Billy West took over for his Wren character. But the Spumco company sh should have gone straight to a MTV. But he stayed on the family network. Uh, networks of other uh, options like Cartoon Network and stuff and did random freelancing shorts that were as just as adult as his original Ren and Stimpy. The Ren and Stimpy adult party cartoon was like the original Ren and Stimpy, same intro and everything except it said adult party at the end, but it took the adult stuff up to a 10. No scratch that, it took it up to, to a 20. And it was so raunchy that it only lasted at least between four and five and six episodes. It didn't even get a full season. If you like this video, remember to like, subscribe, and comment, and hit the notification bell. So you always know about my videos every Friday and Saturday at three. And tell me in the comments what you want Saturday afternoon retro 18 to be about.